Hey everybody, this is Joe back with another episode of The Water Box 130.4. Today I thought it would be a good idea, since I'm mixing up brand new salt water for a water change, to test the Fritz RPM Blue Box salt. Um, so I just got the newly mixed batch up to salinity. Um, I'm running it at 1.026 or 35 parts per trillion. And I'm gonna test it with my two HANA checkers. My HANA checkers are the calcium and the alkalinity. And then my magnesium is a salifert test. So since this is freshly mixed up, it's been mixing for about six hours. Um, it's up to temperature and it's up to the salinity. And so what I want to do is test it for you guys to see what is coming out of this Fritz salt right out of the box. So that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned and let me get my test kits. All right, so this is the Fritz salt and I don't have the box, but this is the blue box and I'm going to be using my calcium HANA checker, my alkalinity HANA checker, and the salifert magnesium test. All right, so before we get to the testing, I just wanted to go to Fritz's webpage here, fritzaquatics.com. This is the blue box RPM salt pro mix that I'm using here and just kind of go over the expected parameters when you mix the salt up to 35 parts per trillion. You should get a calcium reading of 400 to 450 parts per million. Magnesium is 1300 to 1400 parts per million and a DKH of 8.0 to 9.0. So that's what we're gonna test those three things and we'll get to it. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna be doing the calcium first. The reason why this test is the lengthiest next to the magnesium, so I'll do the magnesium second and alkalinity the last because the alkalinity is the easiest one to do. So the first thing you do is you take your reagent A and you Take your syringe with the plastic tip, put it on it, and this draws up one milliliter of the reagent A, and you add it to the vial here. And then the next step is you have a line um, that shows you that it's 10 milliliters, and you take your deionized water and you fill it up with the deionized water all the way up to that 10 milliliter line with the pipette that's included in the kit. You gotta hold it up like this so you can get the line perfect. Now, for those of you that forgot about the science classes back in the day, but you know, your, your 10 milliliter line, the liquid that's inside here forms a meniscus. So it's where the water dips down. And so what I do to make sure it's as accurate as possible is make sure the meniscus is at the 10 milliliter mark. So after the deionized water, and reagent A are in there. What you do is you want to cap it. And I like to give it a good wipe with like a microfiber cloth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our HANA checker and it's going to say C1. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what this is, is the C1. So we're going to put this in here and we're gonna hit the black button on the checker itself. And it's going to then say C2. Um, it takes a second, 
But once it says C2, um, I already have a reagent B, which is a powder form. And then it also comes with this pipette um, that literally measures out I believe it's one milliliter of um, of your salt water that you're trying to test. So what you do is once it says C2, take out the vial and you suck up the one milliliter of freshly mixed salt water here and add it to your vial. And then you want to add your reagent B, which is the powder form. And it's about, it's like a purplish color. And then it says shake vigorously for 15 seconds. Oh. All right, so that's about 15 seconds. And then what you'll see is almost this purple looking color and so what we do is we add it back to the hand checker and push the black button one more time and then just let it do a readout here so all right so the calcium of the freshly new mixed salt water is 406 i don't know if you can see that but it is 406 so, you know, it's within the range of the 400 to 450 parts per million. Um, honestly, I would like to see it a little higher, maybe at like 420. So, that's the calcium. Magnesium is a, another long test. And um, it's because you also have a couple different reagents that you have to use with this test. And uh, you have a syringe that you are literally just adding the last reagent and you're trying to change it from almost like a, a purple or reddish to a blue. And then whatever is left over, uh, there's a chart that gives you your magnesium reading. So how this works is you take two milliliters of your freshly mixed up salt water and you add it to the vial that's included. And then what you want to do is take your five drops of MG1 and add it. So let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to just give it a little swirl here. And then you take your MG2, which is a powder form. And this, this powder form is what makes the water change to almost like a purplish, reddish color. And then what we want to do is we want to swirl it around for about 10 seconds per instructions. And then as you can see, it's almost like a magenta color. I don't know if you can see this on my camera, so sorry if you cannot. And then what you do is you take the syringe that comes with it, it also comes with this little pink cap, and you wanna put the pink uh, part onto the syringe. And what you're gonna do is draw up one milliliter of MG3 until the bottom of the black part of this the syringe hits the one milliliter mark so they basically make it so that there is an 
air bubble between the one milliliter mark and you know right about here and that 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 formula or that calculation is already figured into the test so the next step to do is I usually add about 50% of the solution to the vial um, because it takes a while for this magenta color to turn blue and so that's what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna start adding it slowly until this turns blue or like a grayish color and you want to keep swirling when you're doing this all right so that just turned blue and then you stop so then what you do is you take your syringe and wherever the the you you want to hold it right side up this time with the pink tip facing up and whatever your top part of the black syringe is at so in this case let's pull out our chart here and we are at about 0.4 so if I go to 0.04, that's actually giving me a magnesium about 440 parts per million. So it's actually higher than what the Fritz is claiming from 1300 to 1400. So, all right. And now let's go to the alkalinity. Now this one's the easiest test to do. All you want to do is take a glass vial and you want to fill it to the 10 milliliter mark. Just look at this one more time for the magnesium one two three four five actually I think I messed up this is at about 0.06 so if I go to 0.06 it's 1410 parts per million for the magnesium but it's still higher than what Fritz is claiming here so I have the alkalinity vial filled up and what we're gonna do is cap it and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And we're gonna turn the alkalinity HANA checker on by pushing the black button. And we're gonna wait until it says C1. And same type of thing, you have a syringe with your tip. You put your tip on it, you take your alkalinity reagent put it in here and it sucks up exactly one milliliter of reagent so it says c1 we're gonna put the vial with just the test water in here and hit the black button again and we're gonna wait until it says c2 and then we're gonna put the alkalinity reagent in there after that is done, all you do is hit the black button again and it just reads out your DKH. So it's super, super simple. All right, so now it says C2. Sometimes it takes a, a little bit for that to uh, read C2, but we're gonna just put the reagent right in here. And then we want to invert this about five times per instructions. And then we're gonna wipe it off here and we're gonna insert it back into the HANA checker and just hit the black button and let's see what it reads out at. All right, so we have a DKH of 8.4. 
So just to kind of do a recap, you know, our calcium was at 406 parts per million. So it's within range of what, you know, Fritz says 400 to 450, but I wish it was a little higher. Um, and the magnesium was about 1410. So 1,410 parts per million. So it was about 10 parts per million over the highest range that, uh, you know, they said between 1300 and 1400 and the alkalinity read a DKH of 8.4, which is in range. So the only thing that was off really was the magnesium. And, you know, these tests, these test kits are pretty accurate, but they still have a deviation, you know, either up or down. So I'm not really worried. Um, this is the first time I actually tested the Fritz right out of the box like this um, with freshly made salt water. So, you know, what I'm going to do, I think the next time I do a water change, I'm just going to double check the calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, and then just kind of keep a log and just to see how accurate it is. And then maybe in about you know two to three months i'm going to keep the log and do an average and just see if the fritz salt is um you know coming consistent so you know i just wanted to go over what a freshly mixed batch of salt water from fritz um, gives you and hopefully you enjoyed the video i know the testing part was lengthy but you know if you want a nice aquarium you got to do the testing. So hope you all have a great day. Please hit that subscribe button and I will be back with some more videos here in the near future. Bye-bye.